the second measure we are going to create will be to find the total number of orders that we received. And for this, we will use a function called count rows to count all of the rows within a table. And that table is going to be the sales fact table. Now my sales table is currently selected. So from the home tab, if I click new measure, and the name of the measure will be number of orders. Let me zoom in on that measure. We will use the count rows function. And that function will simply prompt us for the table name, which is sales. And as simple as that, close bracket and press enter to run that measure. Directly above the formula bar, I will provide the formatting. It is a whole number already, which is correct, but I will click on the thousand separator comma. And that measure is created. To see it in action, if I select this monthly visual, and over on the right hand side, I'm going to drag the number of orders measure into the values area. And let's just expand the size of that visual so that we can easily now see the number of orders in there in addition to total revenue. It's always a good idea to test your measures out directly after creating them by throwing them into some kind of visual like that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.